Today we're doing something very simple, but very dangerous. We are cutting this lipo cell in half. Now no worries, I checked the cell and it read a total of zero volts from it, which pretty much means that it's bone dead. However, it's still puffed up, and I just want to see what happens when I cut it in half. Do not try this at home. I kinda know what I'm doing, but just don't try this at home. I'm going to take all the precautions necessary when doing this, and then we're just going to check out the results after it happens. So right now I'm out of my garage, got the cell with me, I have something to protect the axe after I chop it, because you don't want to get cement, you're going to dull the blade, it's going to damage it. I have a thing of dirt around in case it does light on fire. So yeah, um, let's get to it. I'm going to prop up the iPad and see what happens. Okay. Here goes nothing. I didn't cut it all the way through, but it's not puffed anymore. Feel no heat. And this is cool. Look at that. It's just like all black, but being that I know about lipos, it's not actually solid. It's folded up pieces. Let's get it cut all the way and then check out the results. Overall, I'm not very happy with the results in a way that it didn't give off a little bit of a spark show at least. So, it's pretty much guaranteed that this lipo is bone dead. And it has been for two years. That's when it was run dry when not using low voltage detection. So I guess we're just going to learn about the battery. So I'm going to take off the rest of the aluminum foil uh, casing around it. And then show the insides. Pretty cool stuff. So each individual cell is kept around this thick aluminum foil stuff. You might be thinking, well, if this is covering the actual battery itself with all the chemical inside of it, why isn't it short circuiting? Well, that's because there's a little protective um, thin thing of like, it feels like paper mache actually, and it just covers the whole entire thing and it's kept together with this one layer. If you unwrap these little cards from the plastic, you'll see these pieces. You may not be able to tell on camera, but these are two different materials. One of these is a positive and one of these is a negative. Now, underneath this black coating, I see on this one, or at least this side, that there's some kind of silver. I have no idea what these materials are. And on this side, it's like a copper-ish look. So that's kind of neat to know, but as you can tell from how many I took out, these cells are pretty thick, and they contain a lot of these little cards. So no wonder it takes such a long time to make these because yeah they're very complicated but they do work very efficiently and it also keeps you in mind why you shouldn't puncture these batteries each of these are stacked individually negative positive negative positive negative positive and if you puncture it you're short circuiting a small amount of those and that's why it can puff up or even fail and other things can go along with that but yeah, that was just a quick little insight to show you how lithium batteries work. It's pretty cool. Um, sadly, nothing happened when I cut it in half. But yeah, that's all I really wanted to do for this video, and I'll talk to you later.